Hello and welcome to this first ever Let's Build. Well, not really first ever. I've done some some others, but first real Let's Build. The others has just been like one or two episodes, but this time we'll make it a, a big deal. It is Let's Build. Um, for now, let's just go with Let's Build a Kingdom, but we have a whole world to toy around with. Um, bear in mind, I made this world thing of Jake in... Um, World Painter, I think it's called, and um, threw it in in the, on the server. So bear in mind if there's um, there's the landscape is pretty fucked up. There's some like spheres, grass fish going on. I don't know what there is, but never mind. Anyways, um, I built the uh, the start of it, like the walls and uh, the castle that you'll see, and uh, like two houses, minor things. Uh, before I start recording, like a long time ago. Some time ago, not that long, but yeah. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Episode 1. We started off at building this bridge. We had the people from the stream helping me. Placed in some um, some pillars to hold it up. Which is, uh, I've built like a template for the uh, pillar and just copied in with the uh, world did it. They start building uh, the bridge longer. In my opinion, it may end up being a bit too long, but yeah, I think it's it's okay. We can work with it. See the moon settling in the background. It's a cool texture pack. This photorealism. Sorry about the penguin, but that's what happens. As you see, in my opinion, it mm, maybe been. It's maybe a bit too long, but yeah, whatever. I started building um, the frame for a, uh, a house, which would later become a, an empty shell for a shop. We're gonna put the shop in there. I started by putting in some stone brick, but I changed my mind and placed sand stone instead. And as you see, it's actually um, one in the building. It's like this, this layer that you can use for details and crenellations and stuff. That's what I did. I want something in the corners, but I, I didn't. I wasn't quite happy with the um, result at first, so I toyed around a bit. And here's the uh, result. I think it's um, it's better in the corners. Start building like this balcony, flower box thing. Should be at the mid windows. Start off as a balcony, but I would later come back and change it to like flower boxes. Just toying around with fencing, stairs, whatever, everything, and just copying the uh, design to the other the sides of the building. It took quite a while to get these windows right, but in the end, I think it's a cool building. We started uh, building the roof, and just like a bit. Not really a peak, but um, yeah, it ended up being almost peak as I decided to had to go one more, one block more up than I actually thought in my head at uh, at, at first. But it's okay. I like the uh, the result. Swing around with details on the other side, and as you see, one of the guys from the stream build decided to build like a beacon um, to the left there. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's something we would uh, remove eventually. So I started the uh, another building, building another building, but then I remembered, oh, we have welded it, so I ended up just copy-pasting it uh, twice, actually. So we have three houses now. Then uh, we had to build some, some doors, because otherwise you would not be able to get into the shops. And decided they should go from the bridge, the side where every uh, every house connects to the bridge. Just like this, I think the design for the doors ended up being okay. Turn around there, some details as well on these sides. Placing the uh, some of the fence with uh, dirt, putting in some flower boxes. Pretty cool, I must say. Some of these buildings have begun and we needed a another door 
I'm, I'm planning on doing like the uh, trade district down here. So I, th I thought to myself, why not having a door go out there from the building and build like a staircase in there. So it's going to be like a, a two floored shop with a staircase. And we'll have like different shops in, there, in each. So I, I got a design for the door. Ended up being wood, fried with sandstone, stone brick. Ended up being like a wood cover to love it, like with a roof. Then I just covered it to the other other buildings. Made some windows and sides. It's a bit dark. Apologize. Apologies. Yeah. And then and we just played around with some details on the walls and uh, on the sides of the building. Then I, I uh, edited out this part of the terrain with the world and replaced it with um, stone slabs. Um, it looks okay, I think, for a shooting disc ring. Then replaced the uh, wall parts there with some uh, stone brick too. Because it ended up being a bit in the ground, which, which look, looked a bit weird with um, dirt walls. But I think this looks okay. I would then um, start making the staircase to get down from the uh, when you get out of the shops to the um, trading district. You would need a way to get down there, which I made there um, like a staircase. I think it ended up being okay. I would then um, put some details on it, which I would later replace. It took quite a while because the rest of it. Uh, the rest of the trading area is like stone slabs, but you can get stone stone um, stairs. It's either stone brick or cobblestone, and stone brick just didn't look right. So I ended up going with quartz and filling in some uh, quartz on the uh, edge of the walls around the trading district. Um, Again, that's what ran with some uh, details on the stairs, but I ended up just going like cobblestone stairs with some quartz around it. You may notice uh, in the background, Sugar Beer is um, building a park and just adding some details to the road and adding some the trees and vegetation, which is very important. I started building some stalls, first one in the corner, then uh, one next to it. Because it, this should be like uh, the area where you go, set up your stall, and uh, that's it. Uh, some of the stalls may be there more often uh, than others. Who knows? It's a, uh, supposed to be a village, so a town, a city. So, yeah. I just I laid down the foundation for a fountain there in the middle. Looks pretty cool. Build some more stalls and. And, some details too. and if you look to the left, you can see the um, beginning of the park. Just having some black there. Like the market, I'm um, trying to get uh, the fountain would be a uh, work in progress all of the time almost. It's like, didn't really finish. So in the background, um, behind the, the uh, shop houses, I've had some soldiers. Um, they're, um, they usually meet. Begin, beginning like building an area for a uh, house. We have the uh, rich area down there. We thought that it would be a more realistic location. It would be placed as a rich fella um, behind the market so that you, you would easily be able to get your um, weapons, and books, and enchantments, or whatever you buy when you're rich. I started building like a fence around it, I guess, a wall fence thing. Uh, and a gate to get in. It's cool. And just continuing uh, the park as well, and a bit of the trading area. As you see it, and on the stairs, uh, the trading trading area. Uh, be between them, there's like some um, some courts as well uh, that would be that will be removed later in uh, the finished project. Yeah, starting uh, another frame for the rich house. I don't know what I think about the rich house. It's really cool, but it's just I don't know if it fits this uh, theme. But it's okay. 
um, they need some, we need some variations in the city, so it won't all be uh, stone brick, uh, wooden logs, um, nether brick and sandstone. So I think this was a, um, a, ni a nice difference, a nice different touch. Add some fountains, it's like a front garden, doesn't really have a back, back garden, but yeah. That's, maybe we could add that sometime, I don't think so though, but yeah. Just continuing the build. It's mostly Jay who's building the house, and mostly yes, you could be here that's building the um, the park. I help uh, a bit on the house, and uh, otherwise it's me who build the uh, three uh, storing houses, and then uh, the market. We all actually help out the, the market. Yeah, you see she could be just adding some um, details on the market around the um, fountain. I later changed that to a stone bridge like that. Because I, I didn't think, in this texture pack, I didn't think um, sandstone fit quite. So yeah. You see there, Jay filling uh, the roof on the uh, bridge house. Uh, I would later change that because the um, texture pack that I use, there was no update or uh, 1.7 so um, some textures are missing so I would later replace that um, right now actually replace that dark oak, dark oak wood I think was to spruce wood just so we could get the HD texture the park is um, almost done just finishing up some trees and uh, vegetation like, which I think is cool. Just come back to the market while Jay's finishing up his house. It's Jay's house. And just adding some more stalls. And I was trying to get like change the pattern of the uh, around the fountain, but it didn't quite work. So just replace it back again and stuck with the old. Adding a blacksmith there to the market. In, uh, in the wall, we decided like the uh, building on the left, to the left uh, of the three buildings, three buildings there, um, store build storing buildings, should be like the three shops, should be like the one to the left should be a blacksmith. And then the middle one should be like a book enchantment store, and we do not know about the uh, third one to the right yet, but it has just yet to come. And now it's mostly details, touching up, um, going around with some details on the market, adding a few more stalls, um, adding things to the blacksmith, adding th uh, things to the house on the inside actually. I haven't done that much on the inside yet, but yeah, I guess we do that as like a last thing. A, uh, another stall there that's Jay building that stall um, I have no idea I uh, in my opinion I, I thought at first I thought like it should be around the fountain but then I realized because I made it rectangular I we couldn't make a perfect trading district like that so we uh, I just decided to keep that stall because it actually looks cool and yeah then you can I guess set up the, another stall on like the right um, of the trading area from this angle and we're just coming through the city with some shaders on cool texture pack and shaders always a good combo seeing the park the castle the rich house and the trading district and that is it this uh, is a cool project I think in my opinion I love doing this. We might uh, do this on another stream. Check out the, my stream if you haven't. And um, yeah, give this video a like, a thumbs up, um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I think I'll be doing these series more often than I've uh, been doing videos in the past. So yeah, you'll see those uh, Minecraft videos coming up more rapidly. That's it. Um, 